2016 high school football season now in the rearview mirror. We turn our attention to 2017. And as the calendar turns, it's time once again for one of the great all-star games across the country. Live from Macon, Georgia, it's the 2016 Chick-fil-A Foundation Georgia Junior Bowl. And hello again, everybody. Thanks for joining us right back here on ESPN3, another year of the Georgia Junior Bowl. From the fans, 680 and 93.7 FM in Atlanta, here with a play-by-play -play story this evening. I'm Chris Mooneyham, joined by one of the great recruiting analysts across the country from 24-7 Sports. This is Rusty Mansell. Rusty, uh, another special night, this time in Macon. No doubt about it. The talent in the state of Georgia is, as the young kids say, off the chain. Yep. There's so yep. much good talent here, and looking forward to a great game tonight. Talent that... <laughs> I mean, we're accustomed to seeing year after year in the state of Georgia. You see some of the numbers here on your screen. These are just the ESPN numbers, 11 of the top 300 in the country. You guys over 24-7 have 10 out of the top 300. Rival says that of the top 50 players in the state of Georgia, 25 is in our game tonight. Hmm? And we talked about this. That Georgia is quickly becoming one of the big four. Yeah. Florida, Texas, California, and Georgia now are considered the elite. We started talking about high school football players. No surprise. Every year, top five, sometimes top four, and maybe even top three in a given year, yeah. bouncing back and forth. We'll also have special rules for tonight's ball game. This is, of course, an all-star game. You'll see the competition ramp up in the second half, by the way, but something to consider. 15-minute quarters. We'll have no blitzing, uh, no rushing on punts or field goals or PATs. And keep in mind that if we've got ourselves a close ball game, which we'll get every few years, in the fourth quarter, onside kicks are allowed. So much talent on the field tonight. We're going to start our ISOs. We can ISO 30 different players for both of these teams, but let's start with team commitment led by one of the high-rising quarterbacks across the country. No doubt. Penn State commitment from Harrison High School. Justin Fields, a quarterback number one. You're going to see him tonight. He's going to make plays all over the field for team commitment. Uh, Jamarcus Chapman, a defensive tackle from Rome, is a, is, a, is a guy that's really elevated his stock this week. I think he's going to be hard to deal with tonight. They're going to have to count for him on every play. I was on the play-by-play -play of Rome's state championship game on, on radio for 680 The Fan in Atlanta. Jamarcus was in the backfield continually. Yeah. I mean, he was all over the place. Yes, he loves You can tell he loves the game, which is very important. He wants to learn plays hard every single one play. of the stars uh, at the georgia dome three weeks ago on the other side for team dedication a couple of fine fine young athletes one of which a guy that you and i both oh, think yeah. going to absolutely blow up for the 17 18 recruiting cycle karis jackson of peach county a uh, guy that I, I thought was comparable to terry godwin sure the only difference was when terry godwin was here he weighed 160 this guy weighs 185 <laughs> right now just as fast 10 700 meters Again, loves the game. Alabama, Georgia, everybody on him early already. Meanwhile, on defense, one of the more feared <laughs> defensive backs in the country. Um, Derek Allen out of Lasseter High School. Right. Already an, a U.S. Army All-American for next year. So he's going to be another national guy. Six foot two, 200 pound corner. Um, probably going to grow into a safety, but a big time, big time prospect. Time now to join the third member of our crew. Down on the sidelines with an interview with Team Dedication Head Coach Kyle Atkins. It's Megan Trammell. And coach, this has been a long time with you being with these players, but actually it ends up being a little bit short when you get the amount of time to coach them. What have been the biggest challenges in making this team come together? I think it's just, just the same thing that Coach Davis probably uh, ran into as well. You know, you're bringing them in, they know offense and defense, but terminology might be a little bit different. And, you know, we got an hour with them Monday, got three hours Tuesday and Wednesday, and we got two hours yesterday, and then we didn't get time for a walkthrough today. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. But I think just from a terminology standpoint, that's probably the biggest challenge right. and there's a lot of talented guys out here but is there one guy in particular on your sideline that you've seen that's become a leader